So yes, finally we have launched our new website named as algocamp.io. Now you might be thinking why the name algocamp? Is there only algorithmic stuff that we are going to post here? Not at all. To be very honest, this was the most catchy name that we were able to think of. That's why we have named this algocamp. On this website, we are going to post tons and tons of content around everything into programming. You know, structures, algorithms, fundamental of computer science, dev, front-end development, back-end development, full stack, low-level design, high-level design, data structures in Java, JavaScript, lots and lots of stuff we are going to come up with. So since last five and a half years, approximately, I've been teaching into this whole tech industry. I have taught more than 30,000 students via online, offline, college workshops, right? recorded videos. I even went to uh, companies like Nagaro for training their fresh software engineers. I'm myself currently working as a software engineer at Google. Prior to Google, I work with LinkedIn. Uh, I also was selected for Google Summer of Code for Harvard University mm -hmm. as the mentorship org, right? So it's been quite some time since uh, I've been into this industry and I have mentored a lot of students, taught a lot of students. And fortunately, a lot of students of mine are working in companies like Facebook, Swiggy, Zomato, Access Bank, Microsoft, etc. Right? So last year as well, I run two pilot cohorts regarding advanced backend development. And to be very honest, we received a tremendous feedback, right? You can even check the feedback sheet. I will link the feedback sheet uh, in the description section so that you can see how authentic the feedback is and how uh, well the overall cohorts went. We touched some topics that are very less known about. Not a very lot of people talk about it, things around GRPC, we made three different projects. We touched both NoSQL as well as uh, RDBMS. Right? We taught everything in JavaScript from very beginner to advanced. Concepts like coercion, reading the documentation around coercion, generators, iterators, lots and lots of stuff. And to be very honest, most of the students were happy with the overall outcome of the cohort. Right? I got a lot of uh, requests around introducing things around data structures as well, system design as well. So here we are. Uh, finally, we are going to start our own set of, I would say, hybrid as well as live courses. I have onboarded a bunch of more instructors that I will talk about in a few more moments who are also going to help me in collaborating with me in order to actually accelerate a bunch of courses. So without any further delay, let's just quickly go through the website. So this is algocamp.io. I have made the whole website with a bunch of no code tools just to make sure that the overall output is as fast as possible because our focus should be more on the learning and the teaching part, right? So you can see this is the overall website. I have already opened it in front of you. I won't go into a lot of the landing page. You can definitely explore that and link the website in the comment section as well as in the description section. You can click on get started and you will be actually redirected to the overall course page. So for now, we are technically starting with multiple set of courses. You can see there is a live cohort that is going to start around data structures and algorithms in Java. There's a recorded cohort that is going to start in data structures and algorithm in JavaScript. There is a coding interview preparation course where we are going to solve more than 400 problems live in class around lead code, lead code hard problems, Podge, code forces, code chef, multiple platforms. That is also going to start, right? So I'll walk you through uh, to a bunch of courses and there will be more courses that I'm going to add. Some of them are also going to be free. We are going to talk about it that how the free courses are going to come up, right? So stay tuned for that as well. So let's say if you land up at this website, you can open, let's say this uh, mastering Java data structures and algorithms course, right? This is going to start on May 7th. This is an absolute live course, right? You can actually see what all curriculum we are going to start with. So if you are someone who is like absolute beginner in programming, you don't know anything in programming, or even if you know, maybe you know some language, maybe Java only or Python or C++, but absolute beginner level then this is going to be something for you because we are going to touch base everything starting from the very binary number system, flow charts and these kind of concepts that how exactly you write flow chart, how exactly a number system works and so on. Right, we're going to start with introduction to programming, we're going to jump base upon if else conditionals. Like for example, you will see a lot of lectures where you will be taught if else around odd even numbers that if this is divisible by two, this is odd. If this is, this is divisible by, not divisible by two, this is even. You will see some standard practices that people follow in order to teach audio, uh, in order to teach conditionals. 
but as i said me along with the other educators are coming from industry we have a bunch of industry experience so we actually use most of the concept that you are going to learn in every cohort in our day to day usage for example if you log into prime video amazon prime video and you don't have a premium subscription account you see a different screen for example even in netflix and if you have a premium subscription account you will see a different screen add on simple conditions right so we are going to touch base things in depth with respect to how things work in the software industry we will start with conditionals we'll go to loops we'll go to pattern problem solving and more problem solving around loops that are the traditional problems around fibonacci factorial and everything we'll start with functions in java along with arrays and strings we'll then start with our first technique of problem solving around two pointers then 2d arrays more problems around 2d arrays string builders we are going to cover array lists we are going to cover and then we are going to touch base upon time and space complexity and everything is going to be absolutely live in class right we'll talk about recursion and backtracking we'll solve all patterns of different types of recursion recursion with strings recursion with arrays right recursion having loops inside it multiple things then we are going to also talk about math based algorithms like around number theory for example euclid's algorithm and modular arithmetic and a bunch of things around matrix exponentiation because i've seen a lot of times uh, questions around matrix exponentiation also pops up in coding interviews so then we are going to start with basic sorting and searching then merge sort quick sort count sort we are going to cover binary search binary search on answer binary search on minimax binary search on real numbers ternary search bit manipulation is a topic that not a lot of people feel comfortable with again as i said backtracking string matching algorithm is around kmp rabin carp as well as z algorithm we are going to cover right we'll talk about linked list and problem solving around linked list so patterns around two pointers that you have in linked list right or let's say cloning a linked list that are more harder problems we are going to touch upon based upon some significantly harder problems of linked list as well we'll cover stacks and queues and again a uh, good pattern of stack based problems around min stack or next greater element because if you know next greater element you can solve like 20 odd problems directly we are going to touch base upon that we'll talk about hash maps binary trees binary search so you can see the content is like overloaded with tons and tons of concepts around data structures and algorithms segment trees we are going to cover tries and binary tries we are going to cover heaps we are going to cover greedy algorithms then dynamic programming around 1d 2d 3d dp multi dimensional dp we will be having graph traversals graph coloring bipartite topological sort shortest path algorithm msts disjoint set union articulation point and bridges all of the concepts end to end that you need to actually get started and develop a great level in data structures and algorithms we are going to do all of this is going to be power packed in this live course this live course is technically going to be led by riya ma'am so she is uh, currently working as a software engineer at microsoft india She previously worked with Flipkart and MX, as well as Interviewbit as well. She also is teaching since like the last four, three and a half, four years, right? And in every course, we have maintained one fact that it's not going to be completely led by one instructor. There will be a main instructor who is going to lead the course, take a lot of classes. But every time it happens that not everyone has got expertise in every topic. For example, let's say DP is one of my favorite topics, or let's say graph is one of her favorite topics. so whatever topics one has expertise in and let's say if you have an instructor which is having an extreme level expertise in one topic we are going to hop on there right but the majority course is going to be led by riya and uh, this course is going to be absolutely live every single class is going to be live we are going to start with 7th of may right and uh, you can even opt for like the whole course validity is going to be one year right if you want to get two year validity you can actually change the validity and we have kept the pricing also very competitive around 3500 to 3600 only because we know that most of the time uh the people who actually come up forward in actually learning something they can't afford like lakhs and lakhs of fees and to be very honest the content remains same whether you pay 1 lakh rupees for a cohort or you pay this it's just about how much dedicated you are it's kind of like a token that you actually put into your upskilling right and it's not like a lot of these concepts are not available free on the internet it's all about how dedicatedly you come up daily you have a live interaction in the class in this cohort we are also going to have teaching assistant there will be a dedicated discord server similar thing i maintained in the back end development cohort as well there will be dedicated teaching assistant who, who are going to be on the discord to help you in order to debug your issues and more then we are actually like you can say that this was for java 
and now if you replicate everything around data structures and algorithms from java to javascript that's the next cohort that we are going to start from april 30 this is an almost recorded plus hybrid kind of a structure every week we are going to have one live classes and there will be recorded content that is going to drip every week daily right and uh, this is again going to start from everything very basic of javascript so if you are someone who is a budding front end engineer or you are already a front end engineer you want to touch base upon a lot of concepts in data structures and algorithms with javascript this can be a good option for you right so you can see all of the topics that we are actually covering in java recursion time complexity stack queue linked list graphs everything we are also going to cover in data structures and algorithms in javascript right so these are going to be the two uh, highlighted course that we are going to start uh, with as i said there will be multiple more courses coming up for example the 3.0 version of the backend development cohort with even more content is also going to come up around may and june first week right we are going to come up with full stack courses we are going to come up with nld and hld based courses right and as i said there will be a bunch of free lectures that we are also going to start with so already you can see there is one free course on mastering time and space complexity analysis you can definitely watch it here apart from that there are few more things because you might be seeing that there is no dsa in cpp so what about that we'll talk about that in a separate video where i'll i'll talk about all the plans around the free courses that we are going to launch uh on the platforms right you can even see there is a coding interview preparation uh course that we are going to start with we are going to solve live 400 plus problems and apart from that there will be more assignment questions for you you can see every single technique that you need to learn for example in linked list there is a two pointer technique using which you can solve multiple problems right uh merge sorts merging algorithm is a technique in which from which you can solve like four or five questions merge sort has in itself multiple question inversion count double inversion count and similar patterns of questions so every single pattern of question we are going to discuss this is going to expect that you have some basic knowledge around programming right and you are going to prepare for your coding interviews for let's say in the next upcoming 3 months this is going to be a full power packed problem solving based course no shit at all no basics we are going to start with easy a few one or two easy problems and then dedicatedly jump to medium and hard level problems from lead code spodge code chef code forces multiple platforms you can see every single pattern that we were the, that we think that is important we have already listed here we will keep on adding it right these are just the high level headings in one heading there will be multiple lectures right this is going to be kind of like a 80% live 20% hybrid kind of a course and uh, we are going to give you a lot of problems to solve at home again there will be teaching assistant support that you are going to get so you can see we are coming up with a lot of things and uh, why i structured all of this because i got a really overwhelming response from all the previous batches so i thought why not just structures thing more and let's get everything end to end there is a whole team that is actually sitting behind the scenes which is actually making this possible so i would like to definitely give a lot of credits to all of them and i believe that you guys will definitely enjoy whatever we are coming up with last few months we were not that i would say consistent with youtube because we were preparing for all of this and uh, we know that even if we are coming up with free lectures we need to be consistent we were preparing for that as well so a lot of announcements are going to come up in dedicated every single video we are going to come up with more videos and we will talk about everything in very much in depth detail right so uh, do check out algocamp.io this major video was for major majorly the website announcement that we are actually structurizing more things the last one was not that great but the content delivery is something that we actually keep the usp as uh, we not only just keep the course comprehensive but we talk about things that not a lot of people talk about maybe because they don't know or they don't feel that it is necessary for beginners but technically i don't feel that something is necessary for beginners something is not i believe let's say if you are learning javascript if you are learning async await and you don't know about generators and iterators it doesn't make a lot of sense right i can just tell you how async await works but why it is working like this if that is not answered then is no point of learning anything so it's kind of like back to school kind of learning where we ask everything why is something like this happening why is something like this happening this is something that we are going to answer and that's what is going to happen in algo camp so i'm really excited for the initiative i hope you guys are too thanks for all the support that you guys have been giving me uh, in the community that's it for this particular video i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you have not yet subscribed to the channel do consider subscribing it we are going to put tons and tons of more notifications here do check out algocamp.io we are going to meet soon in the next set of videos guys till then take care bye bye
I'm Sanket Singh, signing off.